Oh, damn, lost another file. Gonna have to reboot again. Hey, Dwight, do you want an Altoid? What do you think? In school, we learned about this scientist who trained dogs to salivate at the sound of a bell by feeding them whenever a bell rang. So for the past couple weeks, I've been conducting a similar experiment. Dwight, one Altoid. Okay. Altoid? Sure. And Dwight? And Dwight? What are you doing? I... What? I don't know. I... Well, my mouth tastes so bad all of a sudden. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew wow. it. I knew it. Kevin. As soon as I heard that rapper. You really have to say, oh, yeah, every time you eat a candy bar. I can't help it, Oscar. It's just really good. Oh, yeah. My hands are tight. All right. Not bad at all. I think we can beat 20 minutes, though, so let's try again. Get it all out now if you have to. Okay. It was a raccoon eating a hamburger like a person. You need to stop banging your pen on your desk, or it's going to drive me insane. Okay, got it. Does anyone have a first aid kit? Check out this song I wrote. I'm gonna love you down the stairs tonight. Listen, I sent you down the stairs. I need a new song. It looks like a little hamburger. All right, here we go. Everybody get ready in three, two, good luck, one. So, Phil recruited me to sell these cards, and now I am recruiting you. Who is this guy again? Don't worry about Phil. He drives a Corvette. He is doing just fine. Okay. Calling cards are the wave of the future. These things sell themselves. Who uses calling cards anyway? You know what? That's a nice attitude, Ryan. I'm just helping you invest in your future, my friend. This sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. Didn't you lose a lot of money on that other investment, the one from the email? You know what, Toby? When the son of the deposed king of Nigeria emails you directly asking for help, you help. His father ran the freaking country, okay? All right, so... Raise your hand if you want to get rich. All right. No, um, how is this not a pyramid scheme? All right, let me explain it again. <laughs> Phil has recruited me and another guy. Now, we are getting three people each. The more people that get involved, the more people who are investing, the more money we're all going to make. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme, per se. It's. I have to go make a call. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. I'm sorry he's not in yet. Would you like his voicemail? Yeah! 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 Okay. 12 miles an hour. Eat that call, Lewis! Angela made several 911 calls about cars going too fast in front of the building, so the police put up a radar gun. It's actually caused a bit of a traffic hazard. Wow, 13! 
No, yeah. no, no, there was wind. I was just jogging. Dwight, there was wind. I want to do over. No, 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 it's not your turn. All right, 13 is the new number. Oscar, go ahead. I want another try. Here we go. 31, 31. There was the car. I was ahead of the car. 31 is my new number. 31 is humanly impossible. Go, Oscar. 31's my number. That's impossible. Beat it. Hey, Jim. Stanley's back from the hospital today. Can you sign his card? Okay. Glad they didn't mix up your tonsillectomy with a mustacheectomy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, because your jokes are all hilarious. It's nice. It's funny. It mentions his tonsillectomy and makes a funny little joke about his mustache. Stanley doesn't have a mustache. Yeah, he does. Pam, hit the brakes. Stanley does not have a mustache. I misspoke. I'm not sure. I think he has one. Now that I think he has a mustache. Okay, Phyllis sits across from him every day. Phyllis, does he have a mustache or not? Oh, I don't know. Um, now I think he doesn't. Phyllis, what are you talking? The whole card depends on this. Okay, the man's worked here for 25 years. How can none of us picture his face? Because we come here to do our jobs. We don't stick our noses in other people's business. Okay. Which one of these looks more right? Neither of those looks like any person that has ever existed or been dreamt of in the history of human insanity. That said, the one on the left. Guys, that's the elevator. What if it's him? OK, quick. Who says mustache? Yep. Who says no mustache? Okay, fine. Ryan, yeah. something the matter? Smokey's dead. Smokey the bear? Smokey Robinson, Pam. He died like an hour ago. I guess I'm the first to know. Wow, that's terrible. I really liked him. Oh, you liked him? That's nice. Did you like when he changed the course of American music like two or three times? Did you like that Tracks of My Tears is maybe the last true love song ever written? I'm glad you like him, Jim. I am completely devastated right now. Well, I second that emotion. Huh? I know a few of his songs, but what were his big ones? Oh, God, Nellie, what wasn't his? I mean, um, Tracks of My Tears? Yeah. Um, God, so many, Nellie. No, no, no. Tracks of My Tears and what else? What are some more? What's one more? Okay, I'm not, I'm not playing this game, Pam. Not today. I don't think you love Smokey Robinson. I think you're just doing all of this to prove how deep you are about music. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm not a fan of Jason Mraz or The Beatles. You don't like The Beatles? That's, that's not the point. Eleanor Rigby, paperback writer? Okay, you know, you always think you have time to see these legends before they go. What was I so busy doing? It says here the Smokey Robinson dead thing is a hoax. It's on CNN as of two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, well, that's a relief. Wow, look at that. It says he's actually playing State College. It's only three hours away. Oh my God, Ryan, that's perfect. You have to go. Tickets are 250 bucks. $250 is nothing to the world's biggest Smokey Robinson fan. Yeah. Who's opening? Paul Anka. Paul Anka? How can they make the smoke man play with someone like that? I don't think I can see this. Okay, you could just show up late though. How much is parking, like 30 bucks? That's not what Smokey would have wanted, does want. Tears of a clown. Don't call me a clown, Pam. You're better than that. I'm an early bird and I'm a night owl. So I'm wise and I have worms. Ow. Oh, breakfast. I got your sausage, egg and cheese biscuit. Yummy, yummy, thank you. Ryan. What was the thing uh, you needed me to come in early for? Um, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. But thank you, and why don't you just take a couple hours, office is yours, home alone, risky business, take your pants off, run around, whatever you ought to do. I'm just gonna take a nap in my car till work starts. Okay. Healthier. I'll watch those coins.